Oh my goodness. I've actually never gotten first chair in my entire life. Send it! Oh! That's a groomer, we don't wanna be there. Today is opening day at Copper Mountain, but before we dive into Copper, I'm actually headed to the gym. I have a routine of I work out, then snowboard, and try to feel as awesome as possible, go home and edit. I got a crazy lifestyle, so let's dive right into it. Let's go work out. the gym my hip is feeling a little sore right now so i'm gonna go get some breakfast head back to the hill and i might do a little bit more of a warm-up feeling kind of thing uh just because i'd spent so much time at the gym just kind of getting wrecked you know what i mean sketchy it is snowing it's freaking snowing copper opening day we're gonna go vibe i got some friends we're gonna go meet up with today so i'm really excited we're gonna go snowboard go vibe I have not hit park yet. I have not hit the park yet. I have literally just been turning and kind of jibbing and like hitting stuff on the side of the run and stuff, you know what I mean? But I have not actually hit a park yet. So I'm excited. Biggest question is what do I do for breakfast? I'm a big fan of like those bacon egg bites. Have you ever had them at Starbucks? They're freaking delicious. I might go get some egg bites. Thank you so much, have a great day. So I live about 15 minutes away from Copper, 20 minutes from Keystone, probably about 22 to 25 minutes from Breckenridge. And I freaking love living in Colorado. I'm like a big fan. I grew up in Edwards, which is just outside of Vail. Lived here pretty much my whole entire life. And then I moved to Oregon for three years. And then I came back to Colorado and I freaking love Colorado. The seasons are super long. The resorts are awesome. You got a lot of options in a very close area. So good. Oh my goodness. We're here at Copper opening freaking day. It's snowing. I'm so freaking pumped. I am actually one hour early. This place doesn't open until nine o'clock. It is literally like 7.55 right now. I'm so excited, but we're gonna go literally go inside, go stretch, go warm up, feel freaking amazing. And we're gonna freaking have the sickest day ever. As you can see here, opening day is literally a freaking party. Everyone is so hyped on opening day. It, it's such a vibe. Have you ever been to opening day? I've actually never gotten first chair in my entire life. True story, never done it, not once. All right, so the plan is they're gonna let the early birds dudes go first, then they're gonna let us go. And so we're gonna theoretically, hopefully get second chair. If, if it goes to plan, we're getting second chair, which is gonna be sick. And uh, it's gonna be a vibe. It is so hectic right now. People are freaking frothing. Rip, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is Howie. You've probably seen him in the videos before. Dude, if you ever go to Copper, tell him hi. Send it! Oh! Cat! I don't know what this is, but I'm in. I'm in. All right. We are second chair. Officially second chair at Copper. These guys have been here for 23 hours. We've been here for 20... No, like an hour. We've been here for an hour. We got Copper. Right. It's kind of sick. I'm kind of hyped on that. Let's go! Then we got more people over here. How long you Four a.m. Four a.m. Yeah. What? Those guys spent the night here. Let's go. Four a.m. Twenty-three hours. That's some commitment right there. Let's go. And we just moved up about sixteen feet. Now I know we're gonna stop again for a while, but this is exciting. This is such a wild time. So my streak of never ever in my entire 29 years of skiing and snowboarding, I have never got first chair. And it looks like I still not got first chair. <laughs> so these guys are gonna do the whole banner thing. I'm gonna be awkwardly behind them, hyping them up, vibing. But uh, well, we should be going any second. And we got about four inches of pal last night. So there's gonna be some fun opening copper day runs. What the heck? Freaking pumped. Oh, <laughs> Yeah! 
Ours is not as exciting as the opening chair. I got some banner right here. Woo! Let's go. 4.30 start time. Let's get it. Oh, go. Let's go. For the Instagram. I gotta go now. I don't even know how to ride. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump off here. I made the chair. Let's go. <laughs> We will be visiting the park here in a little bit, but I want to get some freaking pow turns in because it's opening day at Copper, and we're gonna to try to get as many laughs, pow turns, good vibes as we absolutely can. Hello. Oh, we're going. We're vibing, let's go! Look at this freaking pal. It's insane. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is literally the most hectic opening day I've had in my life. Because I usually don't go to opening day. Where I show up late. Oh, ready? We're gonna do another white room. White room! Let's go! I hope my pockets are closed. I don't think they are. Woo! I almost ate it. Oh, oh, my arm's getting tired. Watch out. Whoa. No one's even, no one's like, get over here. That's like rumor. We don't want to be there. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. This is literally so epic. My, le my arm is so tired. Let's go. Copper put so much energy and effort into their freaking parks. So a big shout out to Parker, you guys are killing it. And this is the first park I haven't even hit a rail since surgery. So I don't know, I might do a little 50 50, but I don't know. I don't want to push it super hard just because my hips are a little weird. And then get some laps in. Look at this park, it's freaking sick. They got a jump. They got rails, rails, jumps, boxes, rails, jumps. Good times. First rail, first park, first rail, first jump. Oh boy. Ready? Three, two, one. Weird hating the park when you have shoes in your pocket. Oh, wow. Okay, to my surprise, the rails are not that scary. My goal is to not be scared of rails, but that was not that scary. And I think I'm gonna try to 50-50 front three out of something, but only once, one try. Either I get it or I don't, because I don't think my hip can handle more, but don't tell my doctor and don't tell my mom. I was gonna say, I'm way too short for this thing. Look at this thing, it's like out my freaking neck. How do I get my leg up there? Okay, okay. Oh, well, he's strapped. All right, that was the one and done. No more rails for me. Not bad at freaking all. What a day, opening day. Okay, now the pain's starting to set in. It kinda hurt. It's a little sore now. All right, there is like, you can hear it. There's a little bit of like a crusty ice layer underneath this beautiful fluffy snow. A little challenging, challenging if it was like your opening day, your first day ever. Probably not really the move. That's for sure. Let's go, go. Love you, dude. Let's Love go. your videos. Love your vlogs. The vibe here at Colo Copper 
Colorado is fantastic. It is unreal. Un flipping believable. Check your blind spots. Try to get some speed. We're gonna go as far as we can. Oh boy, it looks sketchy over here. Oh boy, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, yep, mm -hmm. oh, whoa. Oh yeah. Yeah, the bow, the big dog. All right, ooh, corrugated pipe. I probably should have did that. All right, we're gonna go to the car. I have a sample of a supplement that I want Sean to try. I gotta get his honest opinion of it. The goal is to find a supplement that is hydration, has a little bit of caffeine, sustainable, no crash, full send. So I might be cooking something up for you guys that is specifically made for high altitude snowboard skiers, gnarly mountain bikers, gnarly enthusiasts. It's a uh, raspberry too. Let's go take a, take a look at this. And my freaking arm is toast. All right, we got Tommy Bennett's raspberry deliciousness, two scoops. Sean's gonna try it. Oh, I just lost a scoop. Okay, we're good. Ooh, it smells. It you wanna do a good. smell test first? It smells good. Okay, smell it. it. Smells like raspberry and vitamins. Okay, yeah, true, true. Okay, how are we gonna get the full scoop in here? Okay. You might have to do like a half at a time and just do like four. Okay. I could have brought my little funnel. We should have had funnels for this. Okay. Oh, that was, that was good. good. That was yeah, good. Okay, that was one. Oh, we have no room to shake it though. Okay, we'll we'll you might have to take a sip, get some room, and shake her up. Okay. Oh, we're mad. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm actually gonna just take a sip. Oh, just water so good. All right. Oh. Okay, okay. Mine's gonna be a little bit more like a intense. Intense. Okay, that was one. That was really good. That was really good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> the color's nice. The color's not bad. Ooh. Two scoops might be a lot. We have this rule. It's actually his rule. You have to rate the flavor one to ten, but you cannot use seven. So if it's like kind of seven, either it's good to go to eight. Well, it's not good, you gotta go to six. So you gotta give it a scale of one to 10. What do you think? Need a couple more sips. Oh, he needs a couple more sips. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I'm sure it's like mixed in, right? Good night, Mike. Okay, you got it? Yeah. The question is like, is it good? And could you like, do you feel like you could chug the whole thing? That's the question. There is initial flavor of raspberry, and then it goes into like a little lemony. A li yeah, late lemon, but then there's also a decent amount of salt, but not like over salt. Ugh, but it's like there's a little bit of salt, and if you don't know, salt is how how is how you absorb the water. If you just drink water, yeah, it's good for you but you won't absorb as much as you could if you had some electrical electrolytes or salt, salt, sodium. So that's the goal here. Give it a nice little shake again, just to make sure. The color looks pretty good. The more I drink it, the more I like it, but I'm also trying to not to be biased. So next on the list, I'm actually gonna head home and host a mobility class. So every single Friday and Monday, I host mobility classes trying to get people to feel more amazing, prevent injury, and just have a better time on hill. So let's go jump into a class real quick, give you guys a nice little sample. Let's go. All right, what's up guys? Tom so Bennett here. We're going to do mobility, and today we're going to be focusing our lower body, our hips, and our shoulders so we can feel as awesome as possible for when we go snowboard. So the very first thing I'm going to have you guys do is just simply get into a little bit of a narrow stance. We're going to lean forward. And we're going to allow our chest to fold down towards our quads as we hang here. We're going to hang here for about uh, just over a minute, maybe a minute and a half. And then when we do this, I want you to keep a little bit of a bend in your knees. I don't like when we lock our knees out and then try to flex down. We want to protect our little back. And then as we sink down, we can feel it in our hamstrings. And then you can place your hands on the ground or you can cross your arms and let your head dangle down. Let your elbows feel good, and we're just going to sink down for about a minute. 